Hi AQA. In GCSE Maths, if a student offers two methods but only gives one correct method on a show you're working out question, will they get full marks? Questions like this are difficult to answer without a specific example, but here's some established guidance. If the choice of method is clear from the final answer given, our examiners are encouraged to give the benefit of the doubt and award full marks. If there are two conflicting sets of working and no indication from the student of which is their final method, then we will credit the response worth the lower mark. With this in mind, we strongly recommend that if a student carries out two methods, they clearly cross out the one that they don't want marked. Essentially, they must make the choice. If working is crossed out and not replaced, we will try to mark it if possible. To confidently steer your students around this level of assessment detail yourself, it helps to really understand how examiners approach marking and get into that frame of mind when marking mocks. To do this, you'll want to understand the types of marks available and the principles of a mark scheme. We've got an online seminar on how to mark like an examiner that goes through the principles we apply when marking and uses student responses from foundation and higher tier papers. We've collected this and other related links at aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash asked dash maths. You'll also find a poster with our tips for avoiding common pitfalls in exams, which includes a reminder of the importance of crossing out work you don't want marked, as well as lots of useful hints on exam practice. Once again, that's aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash asked dash maths. We hope this has been useful and we'll be back next time with more of your questions.